Hey guys, wanted to show you something pretty cool. Uh, just found out uh, a couple days ago that my AC unit broke. Uh, it wasn't pumping hot air into my car, or it was pumping hot air into my car. I was like, what the heck is going on? So then I, I did a little bit of research and I figured out that uh, the AC unit in my Honda Accord 2005 uh, has a clutch that is supposed to go out and spins uh, with when you like turn on the AC but that wasn't happening so I had to go back and check that uh, the circuitry was okay so what I ended up finding out was that uh, when I checked the uh, there's like an electronics unit in your car under the hood in your car you can pop it off and then there's a bunch of these little square guys like relays fuses uh, oftentimes these guys go bad so you can check them uh, to make sure that they're actually working or not working. And I can show you how to do that right now. Uh, any, anytime you order one of these parts, you want to make sure you've got uh, the exact part number, uh, voltage, and ohm rating. So minus 12 volts DC, 120 ohms. Um, and uh, let's see what happens when I test it. So I have a good one, I have a bad one. Uh, and um, I'll show you guys right now. So in the background you can see I have a 12 volt DC power supply. So I mean mine I could change to whatever I want. I set it to 12 volts um, and uh, I'm gonna turn that off for right now. I've already looked up the diagram for this relay so I know which pins are what. Uh, you'll want to look that up because relays are different um, for different model cars and so if I connect a negative or ground in my positive and then I can output you should be able to hear a click so if you guys can hear that that is a good sign that means that the switch in the relay is working, it's switching. Um, so the next thing to check is the coil. So there's a coil in the relay that sends current through it. Um, and this one, so this one, this one's bad. And uh, you can actually kind of tell because there's a little bit of, I don't know if you guys can, it's kind of hard to see, but there's a little bit of white corrosion on that terminal. That's, that was the first tip to me that it was bad. Um, here, let me show you what a good relay looks like. Again, both of them are switching. Um, you're gonna need a multimeter. And what the multimeter will tell you is a uh, reading of, uh, well, there's two readings actually we're gonna be doing. There's an ohm reading uh, so if you t change it to the little omega symbol, uh, that's going to check resistance. And right now it's 0F, uh, that means infinite resistance, um, and there's like no, there's no power going through it. Um, it's an open circuit. So what I'm going to do is hook up the ohm reader. To the relay. I can do it like this. And it should go something close to zero. If it's not, then that means it's probably a bad relay. So for me, it's going pretty close to zero. It's like 0.2 or something like that. Um, there's another test you can do, which is a continuity test. Um, and that is here. It'll tell you if there's any power flowing through and there might be Even with a bad relay and I'll show you a bit uh, So this test isn't always the most reliable um, So when I Tap it you'll hear that sound that's good. That means there's a connection So that's a good relay now the bad relay if I hook that up again, then you'll hear it click, switch is working. If I 
I'm on the continuity test, so if I hook that up, hear how it's not uh, making any noise. That means it's no good. The coil in this is shot. Uh, it's a bad relay. Good thing is this is like ten bucks to replace. So if you purchase it online, just make sure again same part number and ratings and everything. You can also check the ohm settings. And if I hook that up, you'll see that it's not exactly zero it's not close to zero although it is going down um, so that's a pretty good indicator that this guy is also shot um, and you'll definitely want to replace it and it's continuing to go down but Again, it's not it's not getting close to zero like the other guys. Um, and the weird thing about these things is that, like, if you do like an ohm reading, uh, sometimes you might be able to hear the continuity test give you like a false positive. It means it might be like a little bit of current flowing through, but it's not good enough to fix the issue in your car so you definitely want to get that replaced all right and that was it